Welcome everyone to the Saturday Night Edition Squad Ops One Life events we got tonight. We got Operation Open Road. We're gonna be getting the Russian forces versus the US forces on Yeho Rivka. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. Got some vehicles, anti-vehicle emplacements, all the good stuff. Situation for tonight. Uh, Russian forces are pressing hard to gain key locations in the Yeho Rivka area. The U.S. is given a critical task of holding the airfield. Trenches have been dug. Reinforcements are not expected. And the Russian forces are, uh, of course, rapidly advancing through the area, trying to get a hold of the airfield. We will be following the Russians tonight. So you'll be seeing them in blue and the US in red. Just because I want to watch vehicles. I want to see, I want to hear the vehicle comms. I want to hear the comms coming from the vehicles. All the good stuff coming up, going around, you know, get the, get the hot shots. But this will be the last operation that Bartok will ever have a lat or AR kit for, I think, I think Alpha said it was like a couple of months. So for a couple of months, you're going to see, see him without any of his power. I'm going to see if he is too OP in other kits. Might have to nerf just Bartok, but I'm getting away from everything. Commands for tonight, starting out uh, for round one. We got Lawn in command of the Russian side. Two IC is going to be Silas. Rusty SL is going to be Adekin, Odelay, and Frost. Over on the U.S. side, we have Bow in command. Two IC is going to be Matt Honcho. Leading out the Rusty SL is Captain Morgan Dash B and Flame Mage. Loadouts starting out with the... Ru er, let's Yeah, we're going to start out with the Russian side. Uh, they're going to be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one Latin, one Medic. <clears throat> Sorry about that. No... Uh, no platoon level kits to spread out. Vehicles are beginning one BMP2, one BTR80, two MTLB NSVTs, and two transport trucks. No fob and logistics, and they'll be getting two artillery smoke barrages as their command support. And then over for the US side, they got one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one Latin, one medic. Platoon, they'll be spreading out two hat AT12s and two hat MAWs. And then vehicle-wise, they'll be getting two Mat V open top 50 cals, six logistics trucks with 1,000 ammo and 2,000 build. And then their five at the airfield will be one mortar, one tow, various defensive structures, and they get no command support call-ins. Everyone's just starting to come in. Uh, Leadership-wise. Yeah. <laughs> Top. <laughs> okay, guys, That's how I feel. Okay. Open road. I'm going to shut up now. My two SC this evening is Silas. And we've got uh, Frost, Adelaide, and Adekin as our other squad. Mission is rush on this first round, two strike forward. Find and uh, destroy a US uh, FOB that's located in the airfield. If you open your maps, I've uh, put some red arrows and a whole bunch of other squiggly marks on the map in the general area of Lima and the 16. Lima 17, that airfield. We're going to convoy uh, some live in our vehicles heading south down the road. Um, approximately follow the uh, red arrows in Foxtrot 14, Foxtrot 15. There's a uh, low ground gully that starts in Foxtrot 6, we'll turn east and we'll head to our um, objective rally point, India 15 2 2, where we're going to dismount. Um, we're going to have squad 2 and squad 3. We'll move off to the east. Uh, two of Silas's squad, they'll have a BCR 80. Uh, they're going to be the uh, Northern Screening Force and Scouting Force. Uh, on the South, Squad 3 Frost Squad will have the BMP, our prized uh, asset. Uh, he's going to be taking a more uh, direct easterly uh, look at the objective. While that's going on, three and Squad 4 and 5 will be in the MTLB. They'll be uh, dismounting, just doing a security halt around India 15-2. Squad 5 will have responsibility for Northern Security, Squad 4 Adekin Squad for the uh, Southern Security. They're going to wait there in that position and two and three have uh, secured a lane to the airfield. 
We're then going to mount up those MTLBs. I'm going to drop straight from you guys. We're going to hot drop onto the trenches, kilo 15, six. Um, hopefully at that stage, we'll have a good idea where exactly their uh, their base uh, is located, whether it's on the north of the airfield, east of the airfield, south of the airfield even. Key things, if you see it, that I want you passing up the chain of command is any tow locations. If you see a tow, estimate a grid for it and pass it up the chain of command. That is vital information to keep the vehicle crews in the fight as long as possible. Once the fighting kicks off, I want to stress to everybody, make sure we've got 360 degree security. There's very likely going to be hunter killer teams with LATs, etc., out roaming the UAE domains. So don't be 100% focused uh, on what's in front of you. Make sure someone in your squad's watching your security. Uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to use the vehicles to uh, pull the opponents out of ground that we want to take. Until we get right up on their defences, then we're going to look to um, soften them up with final infantry assault. Any questions? Uh, just one question. Uh, their tow is uh, are they allowed to have it in kilo seventeen? Uh, potentially. That doesn't work. Yeah. Copy. So Actually, just remind I me looking at the map. Of, it's uh, in there, but it doesn't work. Uh, Trying to get that to work. We'll have off uh, forces off the actual airfield airfield point. So I've indicated though potential areas that I want uh, eyes to be kept on with the uh, the red triangles the red enemy line markers so that's and those mine markers as well those are danger areas so particularly for relevant to squad three and then the north have done the same they could have people up in the town to the north thinking we'll come through there um make sure we've got someone watching, uh kilo 14 once we're getting up there on the airfield anyway that's all for me i want to give maximum time for your squad leaders to prepare you guys uh, we're attacking this round make sure when we do so we do it violently and uh, keep our momentum going good luck everyone Let's get ready for life. There we go. We are live. I got to send a message real quick to somebody. Got the Russian forces pushing out. Oh, wow. That is loud for me. Oh, God. There we go. Okay. Yeah, make sure now we're good. Admin cam in until you're dead. You, you want to get out of admin cam? Wrong comes. Got a rando who was sitting in an admin cam for some reason. Weird. Usually you do that after you dead. Oh, they got all wild. It's a dismount point. Probably wait there. Ooh, see how far Rush or US is pushing out. That they're pushing out towards where these vehicles want to dismount. Possibly? Maybe? Nobody? Squad 3 pushed out up north. That's where... Oh! This might be spicy. Down here by Corey. Oh, there's Bartok. Oh, no. They might sneak up behind the vehicles.
Is that a toe? Nope, 50. Uh, don't do anything against the BMP stuck ET. on a bridge. Uh oh, uh oh. Can we get a push? Yeah, we're pushing them. It's a it's a glitched bridge. You gotta drive around it. The one vehicle on it's gotta reset. Break, break, break. Yep, reset it. Hey, don't waste your time hitting it, guys. Just reset the vehicle, please. Copy. That will mean. Tim's gonna break convoy order and cut south to set up visuals so we don't get ambushed. Alright, Roger. We'll mount up and rejoin you guys once you're uh, back on. Yeah, hopefully they're resetting it with the 90 degree, not the 180. It takes so long to reset a vehicle. Oh, there he goes. Yay! Everybody clap. Really want to know if these the squad was a squad two that was down here. Yeah, squad two. I want to know because they're probably gonna come up this road here, and it'll give them plenty of time to sneak up behind them. I don't know where. Oh no. Oh no. I think this is going to be bad for bar talk unless they're going to drop them off real quick up here at that location there. They need to hurry up. Hurry up. May have heard the vehicles. That's why they're repositioning bar talk somewhere else. Repositioning. The vehicles are going to pass in this area somewhere close. See, now I wish I had comms on the U.S. side just to hear what's going on. All right, let's get the convoy back up in order and rolling again. Taking uh, that trench to the east of where you currently are at. Copy. Definitely, here's the vehicles now. Are they going to come right up to him? Oh, 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 no, Bartok, stay in the window. Where'd he go? He's over there looking. He, he's, he's, he's making sure he has, a, he's going to have a good shot. Oh yeah. They're going to present themselves just right up on Bartok. Ooh, 
Bartok. Got him. One hit. How many was that? Hold on. Command, I'm pretty sure Nine. Nine hits. And. Need to clip that. Uh, oh, Bartok missed. Bartok missed the hit. He did get nine in one shot. The Pat kid is devastating. Devastating. Yep, that was one squad down with one hit. Don't try it. You are not going to hit. You are not going to make that. Oh, he's resupplying. Step out on foot with the other vehicle from the other vehicles. Now, just to repeat, my intent is not to let whatever element this is escape. Don't even remember what he hit. And some of the corpses of vehicles looked exactly the same. That, don't tell me that was the... That couldn't have been the BTR. Hold on. I think that was the BTR. Oh wow. Oh, oh, down goes the gunner. Oh. This is not good. Oh yeah, they're all going out now. Vehicle got Good stuff. They are yep. Bondard sent one of them to escape and they didn't they have lost an entire squad. For the Russian side, the U.S. has only lost a fire team. Yeah, I think that was the BTR. Uh, there, the everything is modded for the One Life events. So the vehicles. Enemy mortars. Uh, BTR still up. That must have been the uh, MTLB because the. BMP is right here. So yeah, that was the MB MTLB. What's going on, Poopa? Yeah, yeah, everything's modded. So AT kit, AT kits do more damage, especially with like a hat, because they have the AT12 and the Maws uh, for the hat kits. Correct, BMP2. I don't see any mines getting laid down. Let's see what's happening up here with the rest of squad two.
and they hear him. Matt's is SL Jericho. All right, well, not we AT. Jeez. I'm driving city. trouble, so that's a medic. Oh, there's their AT right there, Fisco. Alright, while that's happening, reorganization of the uh, command spy team will take up the position of uh, three in our plant. We'll have that um Not seeing any forces on the Russian side moving or US side moving out to do any flanks. Right, we're back on track. Two's moving down the definitely. Not catching anybody. I wonder if three's still up here. I know three was up there earlier on the north side. The problem is up oh, yeah, three's still up on the north side. Who's down here all by themselves? Right north of Corey. All right, representing to uh, India 15-2. Obviously tell your gunners to keep their uh, heads on a swivel. This guy's not lined up for it. Where is he? Try to move to it. Yeah, Fisco's not going to get a good shot. Oh, maybe on this last one. Is he looking in the right way? Might get a shot on this last vehicle, but that's about it. I don't think he's going to get any of these first three. Oh, you are in a good spot. Maybe he's not going to try to go for a shot. Yeah, now they got three and the fire team of two left. Make sure you got excellent spacing as you're moving. Make sure when you're stopped in your vehicles, your engine off. For the command. Go ahead, for. Do you want our vehicle up further north from the dismount point? Yeah, if you want to head up in the direction of your move mark, dismount there and we'll wait for two okay. to give the all clear.
Two's going to move into it. Well, two's moving towards them. Three's moving down into the gully to meet them up. Little trench right here. The two's going to try. I'm going to keep this open. See what two's going to do here. While three moves towards two. Three U.S. moves to two Russia. Sixteen three. Yeah, the two's moving up close. Hardikin, can you proceed east along that uh, trench with your uh, squad? See if you can get eyes up on Negative, that, uh, command. We got contact southwest. Hotel sixteen six eight. MRAP spotted southwest. Southwest. Sure. Guys, start firing. 200 meters southwest of my position, engaged. This is a hunt. Two seems to be an engagement also up there on the north side. Infantry spotted northeast 200 meters. Nightmare got Jacko 800. To right. He's crossing over here, so there might be a guy over here already. Yeah, you can always go back and watch the stream later and clip whatever you want. But yeah, this is live right now. Command advice, we're running the infantry contact at Juliet 14-2. We are boxing men and clearing them out now. Roger, command two, double mile limit. We're about to start a guy. Vehicle may have taken a hit. No, oh, vehicle didn't take a hit. Fifty cows sending fire over top of Fisco and Dabin's head. Damn, mortars coming in and everything. God, I don't even know where to go. We'll see how this north plays out. Command Pearl's down. The fire team to squad size element out here on Juliet 14 too. All right, excellent. You able to do them? Uh, four, you able More mortars coming. And going behind two and help them take out that element. We might go for a defeat in detail here. We'll take care of all these little groups off the point before turning our attention to the point. Mortars are coming the other way. They're missing. Uh, might be your Steam 64 isn't working, Crub. Four, you able to move and assist two, taking out uh, the contact he called out in Kilo 57. Uh, tonight is an open operation. You'll have to ping Rub a Pelican to see if you can get in for uh, round two. Round one has started, that's what we're watching right now. Uh, command is five. What do you want us to do in here? We still got contact south.
Yeah, uh, Krub, if it's still not working, you might want to post something in general help and one of the staff members will be able to get a hold of you and figure out what the issue is. Yeah, Discord is discord.gg slash squad ops. There's a link directly to our Discord if you can't find it in the search ways. Oh, Visco's still up. You might have a shot. Pretty smart move. Back that vehicle up straight into a tree. Ooh, don't give him the back of your vehicle. Don't do it. There you go. They're just playing hide and seek now. Got a lot of U.S. forces in the trench works on the east side of airfield proper. Too much movement right now. Yeah, it's a pretty rough start when you lose an entire squad to one hit. Well, I have to say. Four's down here all the way on the south. I guess they're going to start moving out. Most likely, Commander. All right, can you leave a buddy pair there uh, somewhere wherever you think we'll watch in case they come back? Two's pretty much cut off from the rest of their forces. It's a medic. Where is their AT? Yeah, I, can, I can see sandbags from here. Oh. AR is moving out. Loten. Their AT. Got one hit on the vehicle. Dude's still pretty much pinned down. Yeah, we're in direct contact, direct east now. Roger. Roger's going out. Well, That's you did more than what you think you did. <laughs> I mean, you... <laughs> Bartok got an entire squad. He got nine kills just with that one hat round. You all did a lot. More than you would imagine. Yeah, if you ever if you ever want to get in on some of the comp information, you need to join the squad squad rivals uh Discord. They're always posting matches. That's one of the playing discords. I would, I would say every once in a while on the squad official channel, they'll have their competitions. 
the southwest side of Airfield. I don't know what two's doing. They need to they need to probably move back to south and move west. Once the Russians get into these trenches, it's going to be a lot of CQB. Oh, Odin Man, if she moving got a hit on a vehicle. Four. I think he took the MTLB down. I'm sorry, the BMP too. Like all they got is the DTR. Now squad two starts pushing away. Another vehicle down. That's loading. If we can try to suppress all the buildings, that's got to be loading again. That, uh, control tower, suppress that. There's always guys up in that. The loading. Yeah, loading. Doing some work. Russia's losing a lot of forces inside their vehicles. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Bartok got nine. Odin's at nine, too. He's got an entire... Second one. He's, he's got a... Uh, squad kill. Two squads down for Russia. Looks like I want to say it's about it's got to be about even. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, Russian forces have only killed nine. The U.S. has killed 18. I don't think the toe's doing anything. I think the toe did exactly what I thought it was going to do and just hit windows. I think Dashby and them are just waiting for them to pop out at the wrong time. He have a hat with him. A medic. Dashby's an SL. Put him as AR. Large enemy group to the south. Ooh, down goes Dashby. The cheese man. FTL. Right, Amrap is in India. 16 showing up the remains of squad front. Try and hold them off. You guys need to move south. I've got one time smoke left. Anyone see the toe yet? Is in the trenches for their own objective smart a lot of action going on down here must be what's this squad three or four remnants rather scottish chap stuck it here by himself getting lit up by an mrap are you ready to push if i get smoked down we have enemy infantry close on us Direct south. Roger, I'll hold up and smoke. Just has got a really nice line just set up east to west, blocking any forward movement. Yeah, I, I don't think this toe's doing what they thought it was going to be doing at all.
Got to be careful with this BTR though. Don't get it stuck in these tra uh, trenches. You have people to your direct south close. We're taking fire from our direct east. Copy that. Sounds good, cousin. Um, yeah. Wednesdays at uh, 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturdays, 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Saturdays, uh, 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So every once in a while, we do a Friday at 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you got plenty of uh, opportunities to get into these events. Need to take. I would definitely, definitely highly recommend doing a SOT basic. Uh, it doesn't teach you anything about the game, but it teaches you how we do things here at Squad Ops and these operations, you know, so you're on the same page as everybody else. Gives you some really good information, whether you've been playing Squad the entire time or you're brand new to the game. It's definitely a, st a stalemate right now between U.S. and Russian forces. And don't forget about our servers. We've always got the 24-7 server going up. Uh, invasion. And uh, RAS, AAS, mix modes. Uh, you'll have to check the calendar when one is up. Uh, calendars at our website, squadops.gg. So let me post that real quick for you. So go to that link, make an account, you know, do the whole account thing, and then watch the calendar for a stop basic. Yeah, we tried we tried seeding, you know, an MEE -E -E server every once in a while, but it's it was hard to get people to seed it constantly. It's just not really that good of a mod. It really isn't. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking of squat steel division. Steel division wasn't. MME is pretty good, but it's hard to see a modded server because people have to download mods and they don't want to do that. I uh, can't just jump in and observe. 
I know I wish that was a thing, but limitations of squad prevent us from being able to have something like that. That's why we're here streaming it. Yeah, we're still fire from the uh, uh most most events do need basic. Uh we run open ops about fifty percent of the month. That's gonna start dwindling down to maybe like once or twice a month. But definitely take the definitely take the basic i mean it, it it's the name is misleading it really is a really good information so right now the the play that's going on we're still in round one we have one more round to go the teams will switch sides uh we're the Russian forces that you see in blue are trying to attack that radio that you see right there uh, for the U.S. Dig it down, take over the objective, and then defend it until the, you know, basically all the U.S. forces are eliminated. Sounds good, cousin. I hope you have a good, good rest of your weekend. Have a good night. See what Alpha gets to do with this. Oh, that Hanu missed the vehicle, but it got Hanu. And those ragdolls are good now. Nice, <laughs> nice ragdoll. Jesus. Detail made a wrong turn. It got ambushed. Stand by. Alpha's going for another kill for the uh, BTR. They're now moving southwest as well. They're attempting to flank around. Ooh, don't give him that. He will pop you. You need to go somewhere else. Oh, God. I think Alpha's about to pop it. Oh, he ran too far. Yep, and there it goes. Alpha got it. BTR down. BTR is down. Enemy MRAP is heavily damaged, but it's still operational. Roger. Well, one time smoke barrage is all okay, I've got. I'm going to get a tactical move to the tower. That's I'll where most of their forces are. All right, Roger. Team to the rear is being engaged by my other fire team right now. I'll let you know when they're white. Roger. They can't have anyone with the actual objective. I'm sure they don't have the so spread out. I counted like two to three in the tower uh, a few minutes ago. One has been able to get to the south side. So I bought a fire team. I really think he's going to catch them off guard because everyone is focused to the north. Fire team is not going to do much for them. We got, say, a squad and a half element. Smoke's being deployed across the field. Hopefully, they can get a good push going.
Might be the downfall of lawn darts. Out of fire. Wounded two. Ah, look at these puzzle flashes. Oh, there's the M wrap. Laying down some suppressing fire. Oh, and Lawn did get it one kill. Oh, is Blue Jericho going to walk into a grenade? Nope. That's not good for long. Or Deputy Brillo. Smart grenade by Blue Jericho. Roger, Wolfie, just keep the momentum up best you can. There's a lot that they let pass through the trenches. As soon as they open up, they are going to get wrapped up on. And wrap gunners down. Silas, one tapping people from the red jalopy. I think the radio is located in the north building below the tower. North building below the tower, Roger. It's just surrounded by fucking razor wire. He's in the trench with them. Um... Come on, Wolfie. He's Look. Going... There you go. These guys, there's still one guy left in the tower. Roger. It's like Plus. Four, be careful. You have contact east of you, outside the trench. Okay. Oh. Wolfie. Okay. There's still more. There's still more. Ah, oh, he's down. Oh, Fuck. that's great. Silas just one tapping people tonight. He must be angry. I think Silas is angry. Oh no. Tagged by a grenade. Probably from behind by Alpha. I have a feeling Silas is gonna be the last man. Just have that feeling. They're all down over here. Loten's the only one left, and he's got three around him. What's going on with lawn darts? Yep, they're down. Lawn darts, chubs, and Scottish chap. Clearing it out. Going slow. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. Don't go that way. Don't go. Yes. Yes. Come this way. Come this way. Some more Bob wire. <laughs> you got Bob wire no matter which way you go, but at least you're not in the, out in the open. Thomas, what do you guys see over on the east today? You see where the main grouping of these guys are? Uh, they're in the trench just north of the tower is the main resistance. A guy just ran south towards the building under the watchtower where the lodge is at. Can you, Roger, can't how many flies to... Let's see what's going on on the general movements overall. Pubs go down. Silas is hurt. Don't know where he's getting hit from. Still got three out there on the east. Play mage. 
Coming in on the rear. We're gonna wipe out lawn darts in them. They're returning fire through the metal corrugate. Oh yeah. Absolutely one one grenade in US is going down. Especially back there with Scottish and Chubb. One grenade is going to take them out. Long darts, I think, might survive one. Silas will be okay. Ish. Uh, they're trying to reposition to get over to you. Um, they've got enemy south of you moving along the south side of the airstrip. Here comes Flame Mage and for the backup. Is he going to go the right way? Oh, they get tied up by Dresden and Destroyer. Silas just waiting for someone to poke their head up. Oh, just like that. Ah. Almost another one tap. Oh, yes. I wish I could get rid of them, OWI. Please let me get rid of them, OWI. You should message OWI and tell them you want to get have an option to get rid of all the admin cams in admin cam for me. I've been complaining about it for three years. They don't hear me. They don't care. They're ruining my content. Oops, Silas gets another. Clear the trenches. Long dart went down. Got his chaps still up. Chubbs is down. Still got Braxy, Dresden, and Dr. Yeats a lot on the back. Scottish clears out some sandbags. Yes. Three weeks. TM soon. The only way I can get rid of it is just to do that. It's the only way I can get rid of it. But then I don't know who I'm looking at or where everyone is. Maybe just some outlines. Outlines would be nice. Let's start caring when squad two comes out. Five v seven. So I'm missing someone in the outskirts, which I don't think I am. Just to let you know, if you use the F bomb, it does hide your comment from everyone else except for me. Cuss words, they get hidden. A little bit of a CPA environment. Oh, Silas. Oh, sweating for Silas. <laughs> I'm not even playing. Should get on their toe and just point it down because it doesn't even work in there. I see one in there. Oh, they're not going to be moving around. You know that Silas. Hey Scottish, can you hear me? Just barely. They can get inside that fence. Nope. 
bus driver man is looking for the six. Good stuff. I like that. Be taken, covering the six. Not the entire time. Oh, it was it was definitely excellent. This is this is probably one of the best rounds of events in an extremely long time. Very long time. I was excited for the event before it even started, and I'm even more excited now. The tin, uh, hanger is throwable, I think. Can't wait for next round. Silas going for more scalps. Oh, Scottish. Oh no, Scottish. Silas, see him. Oh, Silas doesn't need to see him. Got help from the three on the outside. They're just in the wrong spot. Raxi! Raxi, turn right! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right. There we go. Got four left. Four on four. Four v four. I did not think this was going to happen. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Five v four. Silas is definitely going for scalps. Yeah, they need Russia needs to push in. They really do. We're sitting at 36 kills for the Russians and 36 kills for the US. Is it one, two, three, four, five? sees four it needs to hurry up all looking at that tower it can just not see Ooh! wow that didn't do anything someone fired the toe silas fired the toe I'm surprised I didn't kill anybody. I guess uh, AT is nil on uh, infantry because that had to have hit. Yeah, that's hitting right there and it is doing nothing. Not even the sandbag. It didn't even destroy sandbags. That is weird. I don't know where Yeats a lot and Dresden and Destroyer are going because that is all razor wire back there. It will take them a very long time to get anywhere useful.
That's doing nothing. See them. Nada. Just guess at where each other is between between the walls. going on clackness lankus i don't know why i said that wrong oh i know why because i can't pronounce words If you want to go to the next one, just crawl through this one. Yeah, you're looking at it. This is the new update. Mostly, uh, brass and lighting changes. Oh, there goes Eats a lot. That was Sergeant McDavin. Hey, we can dig these test codes too, so come here. Yeah, it's not in that one. Bush. Yeah. Right here? Or which we just... Yeah, the one right there. Behind the lodge. Yeah, we're covered by the lodgey, but we can get through. Alright, I'll just... Okay, maybe not. There's, they're outside the wire now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Down to two. It's just me and you. Fuck, all right. Gotcha. Silas takes the sneaky trick. Hopefully McDavin doesn't see him. Oh, Silas one taps Fisco. McDavin's still looking the wrong way. Silas gets McDavin. Oh, yeah. Down to Silas. Silas, the last man. Gotta take out Kyle Bricker, Matt Honcho, and Alpha Guido. And his performance tonight, I think he just might do it. I see Guido. Oh, he did. Silas gets another. I gotta check Silence's kill after this. Just going on a rampage. All right, we'll check it real quick. Silas is at 10 with a gun. 11. Got a bandage. Oh, Silas knows where he is. Oh, I'm sweating. That's fucking stupid. 1v1. 
It's Kyle Bricker. Yeah, I get it, dude. I don't know how Silas is going to do this. He's just going to have to just 1v1 this guy with a gun. No, where, where is Kyle going? Where is he going? He went back. Who's going to win? Oh, Silas. Oh, Silas. For the win, Silas, you monster, you. And that is GG for round one. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have round two. All right, we'll get started here in a second, guys. Uh, I got two now, so they can be my buddies if you want. I don't mind. Um, yeah, well, one of my guys is in contact, like, texting JIT, so I'm just seeing how long it is till he gets back. Okay, cool, then I'll just keep him. I'll keep him. Gotcha. Alright guys, awesome. Let's go ahead and do this. So, excellent work last round. That was impressive to see. It was down to the last man. Incredible, incredible. I uh, got a few screenshots of that epic, epic uh, castle squad one built there. Overall, very satisfied. Um, great work, great work. We're gonna go ahead and flip the uh, flip the table here, or flip the sides, however you want to call it, and we're gonna be attacking. We've laid out a plan here on the map. I'm not gonna draw it all out. Again, you can see it here. We're going to navigate straight Good to the work. MSR and move up, and then come down the eastern MSR. Once we get to the intersection, of approximately Romeo 12, we're going to have our two uh, forward Vicks split off. Squad going to continue moving south with their move, move marker. Squad 1 is going to push up to their move marker with the dismount uh, helmet icon. Once it's clear, the remaining vehicles will push up to 1. 1 will go ahead and dismount and start pushing into the uh, the ridge line there. Uh, squad 1 is going to be taking point along with Squad 2 to ensure that we don't take contact. Uh, 4 and 3 are going to fill in on their marks there. Once we secure the ridge line, the ravine to the south, and the field to the north, we'll continue our assault on the northern side of airfield marked with a fob marker. Once we secure the north half of the airfield and the radio is or is not there, we will then push to secure the rest of the airfield. Once we hit contact, it's important that you listen to your SLs. They will be telling you if you are base of fire, if you are taking point, if you are supporting another squad. Those things are important because we're moving as a platoon into a platoon line push with multiple types of terrain and elevations. So if you have questions, ask your FTLs. FTLs defer to your SLs. Again, if you go down, there is no round three. You're welcome to give up, respawn, leave the squad, go into admin cam if you have it, or watch the Twitch stream. No talking after death. Is there any questions pertaining to the op at this time? All right, awesome. Command gets two RD smokes, so I'll be calling those in as requested by the SLs during our push. When the smoke falls and your SSL, your SL says go, push, go and push. We only get two smokes, let's not waste them. All right, SLs know what vehicles are gonna be which. We're going to go ahead and figure out which drivers are going to be in which vehicles, get in those, get them lined up in our, our cute little order, MTLB in the front, followed by our BMP, followed by BTR, followed by MTLB. Let's go ahead and get that sorted now and uh, get ready for live. Oh, we're live, we're live, we're live. Oh, Keep up. I bet you they're putting, oh, there we are, we are live with round two. Uh, let's do 50 I'll be building the toe up here in the vehicles, 50 meters northeast coast corner.
it's gonna be a while until russia gets down there we'll see if they push anybody out because i've got a tiny keyboard but thanks oh gotcha <laughs> for sure but yeah, like i can hear direct comms i just can't respond to you guys <laughs> I can make it seem like Dash B is crazy. I could just be saying stuff in direct comms and be like, I didn't say that. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, just especially on the stream, it'll really screw people over. Yep. Only once. Oh, maybe they're not putting the toe there. Where's the toe? Somebody. Yo, that BTR is way too close to my BMP. They've built way it up just a little bit with Hesco's on each of the corners the with one right. toe predominantly oriented west northwest. Northwest corner. Oh, yep, I see it now. Okay. Well, I guess that would work for. In case they push from the west, but they're not pushing from the west. I see the mortars up also in between buildings. Hopefully that doesn't ruin them. Oh, they have it on top of the building. Ah, there it is. Oh, yeah, that is a good, that's a good spot. How the hell did they even get? Oh, they built ladders to get up there. Okay. That is a good place for a toe. Sneaky, very sneaky. I'm excited to see how it works out for them. I see it as being a bit high risk, high reward. Potential for the BTR to spot it if it's on the high ground to the northeast. But if the U.S. is on their toes, they might be able to make the shot before they ID the, the toe position. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to be looking for a toe up high, not like in the trees. Because normally everyone puts it on this northwest or northeast corner. So I don't think they're going to be looking on top of the buildings for a toe. What kind of eyesight does it have for the west or for the east? I mean, I think if it looks northeast, it can see up into the fields and some of the high ground. It definitely has limited visibility direct east and southeast, though. Yeah, the trees kind of screw everything up for it. Oh, someone walked into their own razor wire. That stinks. That's one thing I wish. OWI would fix like if you put razor wire down it doesn't hurt you it only hurts the enemy I think unfortunately razor wire is sharp regardless of who touches it yeah it's embarrassing when you put razor wire down while you're building it and you start getting taking damage while you're still shoveling it's like eh, I'm an idiot Yeah, so it definitely looks like the U.S. is going to attempt a bit of a tighter defense prior, uh, compared to last round. They pushed one and a half squads or so along their eastern front out in the south as well, but for the most part, no one's more than 600 meters off point here. I think that's going to play better in their benefit. In their benefit, they're going to draw the vehicles in and be able to hit them all probably at the same time, or... It could be bad. They're going to have all the vehicles in and not have any shots because everyone is so clumped up and they're getting wiped out by vehicles. Yeah, the tighter defense absolutely allows a little bit more maneuvering room for the Russians, so we'll have to see if they utilize that. Yeah, I like, I like Lon's... Uh defense strategy but i like bow's attack strategy a little bit better this is almost this is almost like a lawn attack strategy like i'm surprised he didn't go this way last round Right, and if you haven't played in a while, this is the time to get back into it. Fresh update. Lighting has been changed. Yeeho and Gordok have all new, you know, foliage, especially like the grass, you know, in the latest update. It renders nicely for you, but at a distance, you may think that you're 
crawling through a grass field, but to the enemy, you are in the open in a dirt field. Guess this is going to be their dismount point all the way out here on the east. M intersection of the main MSR and dirt road. Just a little bit north of Eagles Peak. Homestead POI. DMP, hold where you're at. Hold where you're at, buddy. All right, I'm stepping off now because we were 300 meters away from the BMP, and the BMP was 300 meters away from the BTR. So. Yeah, let's let's go with 50 50 meter spacing, not 300 meter spacing, if at all possible. I do like that Law and put some people down here on the south as a nice flanking element to sweep around in case their forces on the point proper get overrun. Poopy, I play this game and I play in these events and I'm a bad player. So yes, you are allowed to play. It's not for experienced people only. Yeah, when people join us in top basic, we often tell them, you know, listen, we got people who have played this game for two days. We have people who have 5,000 hours. Uh, we have, you know, just gamers in college looking to have a good time. And we have people who have spent eight years downrange kicking indoors in real life, right? So we are, we're absolutely a community open to all. And never, ever, ever feel ashamed to ask a question in the Discord or in the server an ops member because we're here to help we're here to make sure that you enjoy your experience while with squad ops you know it's all about having fun even even these events it's not about winning and losing it's about hey did you have fun if you didn't have fun what can we do or change to make it more more of a fun experience you know we want you to have those sweaty palm experiences while you're here with us we don't want you to be like oh this was easy section i don't see anything here you guys make your right hand turns and uh we'll, i'm gonna we'll follow you morgan yeah yeah that's fine all right you guys have your orders let's do it all right btr go ahead and turn rest of us will hold Looks like the Russian side has set up two ORPs, one a little bit further south than that initial uh, intersection. Looks like they're going to attempt an assault from the east, both as well, rather from the northeast as well as the southeast. Yep. They, uh, they got the uh, one of the MTLBs and the early BMP going down south. Early dismounts are approved as you see fit. I mean, that's a smart move. Split up your vehicles. Don't, don't have them all going in the same place. Use the high ground to your advantage. I mean, they got the, the whole ridge to the east side to be looking down into the point proper. Looks like U.S. has their map V's in position. They have one times tow map V guarding the northeast, just inside that tree line. And Commander Londarts has moved one times map V. I think that's a 50 cal open top into the building, actually, in the southeast, giving a little bit more cover from some of these heavier weapons that he's expecting. Oh, yeah, keep it in reserve. Always keep it in reserve. Brandon, what's going on? Uh, you missed round one and you missed a round for the lifetime. You really did. You'll have to watch this back on the Squad Ops Twitch. Uh, right now we got, we're on Yeho. We have the Russian forces here in blue. We got the U.S. forces. They'll be in red. They're attack. The Russian forces are attacking the uh, airfield buildings to the north side of the airfield. And they have a lot of mechanized vehicles to go they got squad one, 
and BMP2, two and TLB and SVTs and a BTR80. But the US side does have a lot of hat kits, AT12 and Maws to defend against their position plus a toe emplacement. Squad one cover uh, dismount mark off a thirteen two. Uh, infantry dismounts for the Russian side. Pushing the vehicles in with infantry. Always the smart move. Uh, make sure to enable auto walk under settings, under game, movement, double tap to auto walk. It'll save you and your guys a lot of time. The US forces on the northeast side have just caught audio of Russian armor's engine noises. Sounds like uh, they just called them out. That would be the Russian armor in Papa 13. That's quite a ways out. It'll be uh, interesting to see if he actually heard them or if he's hearing ghosts out there. Well, depending on how your audio settings are, you can hear vehicles from a long distance, especially tracked vehicles. I used to have my game settings like 100% on everything. I could hear vehicles from all locations, and I had to turn it down because I was like, I have no idea which way this is coming from get a little overwhelmed with the amount of information oh. and all that starts to become useless. God, it's, it was horrible. I even ended up having to switch my headphones. I used to uh, play with planner headphones, which is, a, which is a magnet that slides back and forth to create the sounds. And they just, it's good for stereo. It's not good for uh, video games at all. Like if you're listening to music, it's great. But when you're playing a video game with, you know, three dimension sounds, not good. Sounded great, but you had no directional acuity at all. Actually, Phoenix, you missed it. Bartok and Alpha had some kind of bet going on, and I don't know how it worked out, but this is the last time we will see Bartok Command with a hat, or I should say an AT kit or an AR kit for I think it's a couple of months. That's interesting. What was the uh, what was the bet then? I don't know what the bet was. It was like right after the the staff brief. I was like, all right, well, I gotta go do the stream. But that is some good knowledge to have. I can't wait to see how this plays out. And of course, Bartok fires off the first round and gets nine kills in round one. <laughs> He's going out with a bang, literally. Quite literally. I thought it was over after that. I was like. Oh, he just wiped out a squad with one round, and then uh, there was another person. I can't remember who it was. They wiped out another squad. I was like, oh, this is going to be bad for Russia, but Silas just popped off once he got into the airfield. Talks just falling ass across an open field, and he's got Joe Violence and Wolfie that are gonna spot him. They definitely hear Morgan's vehicle coming up. 
from the south. Wolfie, I think he's a, yeah, he's a hat kit. You know, I'm tracking Wolfie and Violence right now. They actually have not yet reported any audio on enemy armor, and they've just made the decision to pull it back in, feeling that they were overextended. Yeah, they need to adjust their audio settings, because I had mine turned down, and I could still hear Morgan from their position. They got to they gotta turn their contacts up just a bit. Uh, three for two. Yo, Morgan. Yo. Would it be possible? You know, we can scratch last. Violence just called out engine noises. They've gone to ground. They're holding and orienting. Looks like east, southeast right now. Shoulder, shoulder. Oh, Sounds like they absolutely have now heard Morgan and Grease's. I think that's an MTLB. Yep. Yeah, I'm just waiting to see if Bartok walks up on him. Okay, fair enough. I just. Yeah, we're gonna go to an open field. I'm a man. Oh, break, break, break. 100 meters west of the uh, my squad, <laughs> there's a fire team. Copy one, go ahead. Matt Hacho just called out Wolfie and Joe Violence. Vehicle hold, vehicle hold. Violence been hit once. Vehicles get to cover, engines up. Three, continue to advance, get online with one and four. Get moving. How's up there with that BMP? We've got some space. Oh, well, he's got, he's got some firing lines, I should say. FTL violence pulling for Wolfie to fall back here. I think he's afraid of them getting enveloped, and it looks like that's a good chance of that happening. Ah, and Wolfie's down. Lima 1537, hold down MRAP, possible location, trying to get confirmation. Lima 1537. Definitely looks like everyone is going to face the same amount of contacts. Looks like U.S. has a forces going north to south, and Russia has forces going north to south. Charlie team, squad two. How copy, Cap? Track west of your Charlie. See, I like that they dismounted all of their infantry. They don't have all their infantry in the vehicles going so close to the objective so that they lose them to a hat round. Lima 16-9-7. I think they went for the northern part. Copy. All right, let's, uh, let's stick to the plan. That being said, if we start to pivot that plan, I need more info. Otherwise, let's continue as a platoon and just keep pushing west. I'll defer to SL, so let's just keep it moving. Your map's been hit once. Oh, I hear a toe. Toe got a shot right. off on one of the vehicles, I think. Just shot at us direct west of my pause. Toe is disabled, never mind. Confirmation toe is disabled. That's what Bytalk's reporting and the is disabled. Don't have to shot. Oh. Keep pushing. Toe gets another sh hit. On Dentric and Loden. Oh, we're going to get another tow shot, but they abandoned the vehicle. Down goes one BMP. Toe. 
recommend smoke tight spread on that north side. The rest of the group can move forward. Russians have opened up an excellent 600 meter, uh, 600 meter front here on the eastern side of the airfield. I love, uh, I think Bao's strategy here is just attacking the entire thing at once Copy. as opposed to, you know, minimizing the actual focal point of his attack. You can see AR fire just clacking off over these fields constantly. Especially with the, uh, oh, that's a bit yeah, the new report on the rifles. It looks great. Yeah, I, I wanted it more west. Yeah, it's a lot of good suppressing fire. But, U.S. has a flanking element, probably led by Patrick Star, down here to the south. Lima 15 two, two. Lima 15 Love that they added ricochets off the ground, not just the vehicles. If you shoot a vehicle now with an AR or a regular rifle, like every fourth shot, ricochets off of the vehicle it's nice it's just a it's just a cinematic addition Down goes Morgan's vehicle. Right, two, Purple Dreamin' gets himself two kills. AR is popping off. Order's going out. Russians have just successfully crossed the field en masse underneath BTR and MCLP fire. They got Let's cooking off as they uh, engage all of these U.S. forces on the eastern side of the airfield. That was the almost perfectly executed so set and bound by uh, Commander Bao there. Yes, it was. It was. Uh, he didn't call it out in command comms, so I think that was more of the squad leaders probably talking to each other. Maybe even, even breaking better. it down to fire team leads. Looks like Patrick Starr has almost got that fire team all the way in the rear. They're calling out for their second set of smoke artillery rounds. I don't know why they got their mortars shooting in the wrong direction. Got their mortars shooting north. They should be shooting east. Good work, guys. Let you guys Ooh. know. Pass it down. They're doing great. Bad shot with the toe. Just disarmed straight inside of the uh, Hesco bunker. So there we go. We got some CQB going on. U.S. has lost three out of its four SLs at the headport to begin with. Command comms is getting a little bit hectic. Command one has effectively called out all the contact as it moved across the field, but it doesn't look like the U.S. was able to get rifles online to be able to engage them prior to them being able to successfully make that bound. Blue Jericho making a push up here on the north, getting one nick of time.
Flame is moving up on that north. Russia has enveloped this entire complex now. They are wrapped around almost all the way around. Mortars finally firing in the right direction. Alpha takes down Nightmare. Liberal might be next. Yeah, with, with Russia inside the compound, they might be taking it and then it's going to be up to the U.S. forces to hold it out. Oh yeah, the, the, the Russian forces are just walking in. It's gonna end up coming down to a couple that are gonna have to retake it from the U.S. side. This was a nice, nice executed push. Yeah, absolutely. U.S. comms calling out all of their southern forces have been eliminated. Southern flank has been absolutely destroyed, as well as any of their overwatch they had previously set up on the roofs. Slinger just took out two. Took out two Russians laying down in the trench. Still surrounded by about eight. Right, just an update to commit and there's a lot of people in the building just south of me, this first building. Probably a squad. Flaming or Hanu and Fisco just playing peekaboo with each other, looking and then the other one's not there, and then looking and the other is not there. Yeah, Russians have pulled their BTR close in to be able to support infantry as they start pushing through these buildings. Dreaming. Oh, he just is taken out by a grenade. Still got Hanu and Adikin on point proper. Lawn darts is still up also, and then he's got two out here on the east. It's like Repetus. Redibus? No. Who is this? Yeah, Redibus and definitely Brillo. Surprised no one's found lawn darts yet. They're gonna clear this building and find them. Or he's gonna find them. Those are about ten, a, ten apart. He's in the other side of Russian uh, Russians are definitely doing better than the U.S. Does anyone know where the BTR just took a lap from? Commander Launders for the U.S. just successfully eliminated one push into his building. They are fully aware of his current position, though. Oh yeah, they definitely know where that he's back there. They're tossing grenades and everything. So it's Londarts, Patrick Star Postal, Deputy Brillo, and Redibus. So we got. 
five left. Four, tell that guy to get back. Tell Bond to get back right now. Four, tell him to back off. Tell him to back off. Four, tell you to back off. Ooh, down goes lawn darts. I got a heal. Copy, copy, copy. They're just going for it, okay? Nice little hit. Sorry, do you want another slot? Lawn. <laughs> Patrick Star and Postal are up here just laying in the bushes next to this vehicle. Up here on the north. I wish I had bags or like some kind of magnification Jesus. Just sitting and chilling. Yeah, US forces pretty thoroughly thinned out here. I think they have maybe five up at this time. No, I appreciate it. Listen, I'm the fire chief leader. I'm I'm here to feel like we're Alright, one to command. We've secured the radio building, we're digging it down. Happy, good job, good job. Yeah, Russian forces just started digging down the radio. Probably not the, not the way I would want to retake this position. Copy, good call out, good call out. Northeast. All right, four, you are north security. Three, you are south security. One, focus on the radio and then secure that building. I think I know my guys are outside the building. We can react right now. Understood. Four, north security. Three, south security. You can you can always shift north as needed. Thank you, one. Yeah, yeah, my guys. Three, hold. Can you help right now? Are there any command comms at all for U.S. forces? Uh, at this time, no. I believe the only one left with command comms is Redibus, but I don't think he has anyone to talk to. There we go. Three left for U.S. forces. Got to take this back. At least the squad element left. Oh, now we're down to two. Nope, there goes one of them. All three of them are remnants of Frost Squad, who were originally, I think, holding the southern side of this point. Because they found themselves on the complete opposite near the end here. Sometimes it happens. It's like, hey, wait, wait, wait. You were on the north. How did you end up down there? Wow, what is Redibus doing? Oh. oh, there we go. I believe that's going to call it GG. Two go down at the same time. Left? Don't see. Oh, yep, there we go. We are GG for round two. Operation Open Road, and that's going to do it for us tonight.